Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. We have come into a marina here in San Jose do Cabo, something like that. And we came into a marina because we want to surf here and there's no anchorage here, so we had to come into a marina. Anyway, we're about to ride the bikes to a surf spot with our surfboard, so that should be pretty fun. So let's go. Said, we're lost. It said that way. In the uh, desert. It's like we're doing After we found the right way, we headed to the beach. We were told about a pretty epic wave here called Zippers. Even though we knew there wasn't much swell, we were pretty keen to check it out. It was supposed to be about a 20 minute ride, but it took us way longer. We got to the beach, and as we suspected, the waves weren't really breaking. We had a swim and a pizza and called it a day. Today was a total <laughs> like fail of what we wanted to do. We carried, I'm carrying four surfboards with yeah, like a rope. Dark. It's getting dark. It took us like an hour to get here. There's no surf. We made it back to the marina. Oh my gosh, that was the biggest relief of my shoulders. And I'm like sunburnt there too. Okay. At least it was a fun time, but it didn't exactly go the way we were hoping. That's okay. Still had an adventure and yeah. what a trooper. Bella carried all the boards on the way back. Um, Tasha had a little bit of trouble on the way there, so <laughs> it was for our own sake. <laughs> we're gonna head off tomorrow but we're gonna put these boards and all our stuff back and maybe go do something tonight. We actually timed it perfectly to be here on a Thursday. Thursday here in San Jose del Cabo. There is an art walk, music and markets. It was a sweet vibe. We had a nice walk around. We found this guy making pizzas and they were absolutely delicious. Our last day here and there was still no swell, so we started the day with a swim at the beach near the marina. I gurneyed the deck today and it feels so clean, it was so dirty. You can feel the difference on your feet. While Mum and Taj went to the shops for food, Dad and I pulled all the chain out on the dock. We marked where the 30 metres was and then every 10 metres after that. We are trying a different technique using some rope. We'll see how this goes. All right, we're pulling, a, pulling anchor. <laughs> we're untying the lines. We're leaving the marina. Anchor up out just outside of here and head off early in the morning and continue into the sea. So I think we're actually officially into the Sea of Cortez after this next anchorage, so it's very exciting. Is that front all right, Belle? Wow, he does a good job driving, doesn't he? <laughs> God, I would have been freaking out trying to do that myself.
So we just pulled anchor from San Jose. Jose. San Jose del Cabo. And we are heading out to the reef to see if we can catch some fish. So it's a light breeze this morning. It's about two knots. And we're meant to, at around one o'clock, get a, I think, eight to 10 knots southeast. So as soon as we get that, hopefully we've caught some fish out on the reef by then. And we'll head north. We've still got about 30 mile to go north from there, so. We should be right, we should get in just before dark, hopefully. So this says Laguanita, Lee's favourite beer in um, San Diego was called Laguanita and he thought that they must have a brewery down here or if it's from down here, but it's not. It's made in uh, California. <laughs> but we're just leaving here. San Jose del Cabo, beautiful little town. We're now heading out, so apparently out here is some really incredible fishing, so we're going to go out here and then we're going up to Los Frajales here so it's about 35 nautic miles beautiful day sun is shining there isn't much wind yet but we're hoping the wind picks up so that we can sail it's why we waited we were going to leave yesterday but there wasn't wind in the right direction so today there's wind first of all I'm going to make the captain of mud water. You haven't had one yet, have you? He hasn't had his mud water, so I'm gonna go and, oh, there's the rays jumping, look at him. <laughs> so I'm gonna make him a mud water. It's the way the captain starts his day. He hasn't had coffee for a few months now, and how are you feeling about not having coffee for a few months? Oh, I feel bloody good. Break a habit of like 30 years, probably. You have gone off with coffee a couple of times. Yeah. In Indonesia, you had about a year's break as well. I had a break in Indonesia. Just because the coffee wasn't so great. <laughs> but we got to Penang in Malaysia and we actually, it's not often we're in a marina, but we were there and the coffee there smelled so good. I was instantly addicted again. Being on the mud water, the coffee smelled really good and I haven't really felt the urge to have one to be honest. Mud water is a coffee alternative and is part of our morning ritual. Its health benefits from organic ingredients of medicinal mushrooms, cacao and spices help us with focus, energy, immunity without the jitters or dependency that I used to feel drinking several cups of coffee. I really like the taste and have not craved a coffee for months. lost it. Either bit it off and lost his Helco, his favourite one. Helco! Or it just got off, we don't know yet. Do you think he bit it off? Reckon I it was a shark. Know. It was it, something big. It was big, it could have been a marlin but... Sharks seem to love that corner here. And we've caught a lot of makos lately so... Hopefully he left me a bit of leader because I don't know if I've got any leader. He took the lot. Oh. You know we could have just had a weak spot in our Oh, and then it's very... We've had a break in our line, I'd say. It's not a piggy tail. It's in, no, it's not a piggy tail. <laughs> Chris, it's not a pigtail, mate. <laughs> oh, he's lost his corners. His favourite lure. Could have been a marlin, though, but... Could have been a shark. Yeah. You know what? We're never going to know. Bummer, Bummer, though. Bummer. I was super excited about a fish. Thought fish for lunch. Could have been a massive big tuna, uh, yellowfin tuna. Yellow yellow tuna. Oh, that would have been great. Just trying a new look at this fancy one. All right, we've got a little feather here. My favourite colour. Marty so special. This one they call it. It's gonna catch something because it's green. We got a pink, a pink jellyfish lure. The memo gave us because he was catching mahi on pink ones. And then we've got our cedar plug out there. Now we're gonna have a green one. 
see which one is the best. Here we go. Come on, turn around. Turn around. I'm going to load it a bit more. I don't like doing it, but I'm going to have to run out of line. I need to get the need? lines in, both lines. Oh! I thought we were gonna... We get another one. Get the camera off me before I try. This one. <laughs> it just got on while he was winding in. Oh, it's gotta be a fucking marlin. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Got sharky shakes. No! Shark! Oh, you had a tuna. Do you reckon that was a tuna on there, or this is the same fish? I don't know. That's big, though. Uh, I can't stop it. I'm going fast. We got like five, six knots, but it's enough that I can't get a wind in. Oh, he's big. All right, it let go. Whatever it was, didn't want to be on there. I was just going downstairs to change batteries in the GoPro. No fish for dinner. Lunch today is luck, so we uh, thought we'd have some fish to put in there, but we don't any luck on that department, have we any? <laughs> We've gotten close. been a absolute stunning day today we um, headed out from our anchorage and we trolled some reefs um, we didn't have any luck we had some massive hookups I nearly got spooled a couple of times I think they were either sharks or marlin nice level sailing we've probably got I don't know 10 knots of wind behind us running with the wind just about to have lunch I'd have some fish for her but she's gonna go with a little bit of egg on top woke up at Lost Fridays and there's like rays jumping, there's like a big school of fish at the back of the boat. There's lots of fish under the boat. I'm just gonna clear and see our anchor chain down there. I think it's time to jump in the water and screw in a little bay. Another beautiful day in Mexico. Thanks so much for watching that video guys. Remember if you liked it, please press the like button and if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss when any of our videos come out. We're on our way north, we're a few weeks from hauling out our boat so we are still having fun at this point and we are loving cruising and we're loving Catalpa too. See you next time, bye! Bye!